what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this guys so the song that was channeling is that song by um bb you know that one if it's meant to be it'll be it'll be baby just let it be and the part that's sticking out is of course her part where she's like i don't mean to be so uptight but my heart's been hurt a couple times by a couple guys who didn't treat me right i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie Cause I'm tired of the fake love Show me what you made of Boy, make me believe Oh, hold up, girl Don't you know you're beautiful And it's easy to see Okay, so what I'm feeling Y'all know I channel energy through music I'm not trying to be no American Idol or nothing like that, okay But it, there's this energy where Spirit wants somebody to stop stressing over a situation is what I'm feeling from that energy, from that song. It's like spirit wants somebody to stop worrying, stop stressing, stop overthinking, stop wondering, okay? Because it's like, if it's meant to be, it'll be, you know? And there's an energy where she's saying, I don't mean to be so uptight. So somebody, when it comes to this person, can have a wall up, can have a guard up, can be uptight when it comes to this person because of maybe some things that have happened or scared, you know? I don't mean to be so uptight, but my heart's been hurt a couple times by a couple guys who didn't treat me right. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of the fake love. Show me what you're made of. Boy, make me believe. So it's an energy of like somebody wanting actions to speak louder than words. Um, you know, I'm tired of that fake love. Show me what you're made of. You know, I gotta believe it. I gotta see it. You know, but spirit is like, stop stressing, stop worrying so much about this because if it's meant to be, it's going to be. And it's like an energy of it being meant to be, but somebody's so fucking scared. Like somebody is just so stressed. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety from somebody right now. I'm going to do a you versus them, but I'm just going to pull a couple of cards. There's a choice to make. Loves you and someone else. What? So this is what could have you stressing the fuck out. Like there, you know for a fact that they're dealing with somebody else. And so there could be this energy where you just feel like maybe it's over or, you know, they're happy where they're at or they're going to move on. They feel pressured by you. One shot to get it right. And see, they know when it comes to you in this situation that they done fucked up so many times that they don't have any more chances when it comes to you. You know, this person feels, they feel the intensity. They feel the pressure. They know that they can't play with you. And so when it comes to you, it's like this, this chance is their last chance. Like they don't have chances left. You know what I'm saying? It's like they ran out of strikes, you know, three strikes you're out type shit. And there is an energy where there's a choice to be made with this person. They love you and they love somebody else. And they know with you, they can't be on no bullshit. And this other person that they're dealing with might not be as strong as you. Might not stand in their energy like you. Might let this person walk all over them, whereas you don't. And so this is a part of where they feel that pressure they know that they love you but they're scared of making a mistake when it comes to this situation what's at the bottom look but fate has its own plan just like the song right if it's meant to be it'll be blocks are for you guys as high as good so right now it's like this is where it comes in it's faded that the two of you guys are together you can sit there you can stress you can worry you can deny it you can try to fight it it's faded okay fate has its own plan but it doesn't mean that it's just gonna come right together happily and and just be magical okay uh, there was some blockages here for the two of you, but it's for the highest good of this connection. If it's meant to be, it'll be. So don't worry. Don't fight it. Don't stress. Don't worry. Let shit flow. Let me get one more card before I get into tarot. Let me get a couple more on them. So I'm going to... For the collective and their person, spirit, ancestors, and God, what's going on here? 
they will act on their threats it's just a matter of time trying too hard and getting nowhere cries wolf when they're the perpetrator so this is somebody who likes to blame other people they try to make it play victim to everybody around them they try to point the finger blame you for the things that have happened when really they are the perpetrator they are like a wolf in sheep's clothing right they try to play like they're innocent but really they know they're the reason and the cause that everything for the chaos in their life this person could be trying really really hard um to figure some things out or like to get ahead in life here and they're just not getting nowhere okay there could be some kind of threats going on here and i feel like this has to do with this third party over here on this side okay that could be maybe threatening you um it's almost an energy like whoever this third party is this this other person is that your person loves they are fucking obsessed with you because your person is obsessed with you, okay? So this is where it, it's very weird. Whoever this third party is, this karmic, this other person that they love also, they love you and somebody else. That other person is super obsessed with you. And this person is obsessed with you basically because your person is obsessed with you. If that makes sense to you. It's like your person tries to down talk you to this other person to make them feel comfortable knowing that they're the reason things went the way it did and this there's also a third party energy that's like online trying to see what you and this person has going on seeing if you guys are still talking because i'm telling you whoever this person is they're quite unstable nine of swords somebody is real that's what i'm saying with that song if it's meant to be it'll be somebody is very hot and cold here with the knight of wands it's like somebody's very passionate for this connection but then they're in and out hot and cold you know um ghost the fuck out of you and that leaves somebody in this stressed energy like what where is this going what is what's going to happen here and that's where that song comes in if it's meant to be it'll be it'll be baby just let it be can i get two cards on this there's a choice to be made loves you and somebody else can i get two cards on there's a choice to be made loves you and somebody else can i get two cards on there's a choice to be made loves you and somebody else Ooh, we got the five of pentacles and the fool and i was just talking about ghosting you know leaving somebody out in the cold that hot and cold energy so to clarify there's a choice to make loves you and someone else somebody took a risk with the fool and the five of pentacles and it's like they left you behind or they left you out in the cold to take a risk and go elsewhere to choose this other person to start over with somebody and try to make something work again whatever they did they started out and the decision that they made it was very very foolish like it's like they wanted a fresh start with some somebody else they thought that they were going to make that work and so they left somebody out in the cold and the sad thing is they were very very foolish when they did this because now it's like karma has caught up to them with that five of pentacles they could be not working a lot right now not a lot of income coming in trying like it says trying too hard and getting nowhere trying to you know keep their head above water right now because it's like you're not just going to move forward with somebody else and leave somebody heartbroken and sad and think that you are going to do well in life and prosper you got life fucked up and so whatever happened wherever this person thought that they were going to go or they were going to love you and somebody else because i feel like it's like you found out about this or you know something happened here that caused a break you to be like hell no or them to be you, to walk away but it's like they try to come back and forth the player card of the deck is the knight of wands hot and cold they're very very passionate but then they leave again whatever happened here this person is doing bad as fuck and so it's like almost like they might be trying to start a new relationship with somebody else so that they can 
Because I'm feeling like the other person that they love and you are both at that point where you guys are tired of this person. So I'm feeling another energy, like a third, third energy. This is very weird here. So this could be like somebody else. So there's you and the person, they love they love you and this other person, okay? But I feel like you and this other person ha are tired of this person's shit and tired of this person, period. And so it's another energy that they might be trying to fuck with in order to because they're doing bad right now it's like when they used to play both sides with you and this other person they could cling on to that person and be all right and then run to you and be all right and run back and forth and you guys would uplift this person but now it's like this other person is like hell no you're you're over here like because mm -mm, you know what they got going on and then so there's this other person that is dumb to this person's bullshit. They don't know this person like you and this other person know this person. So this person can pull the wool and try to fool this other person. And it's to try to get out of this financial bind that they're, they've put themselves in with all the dirt that they've done. And with the four of wands at the bottom, that's 11, 11. I definitely feel like this is your twin flame. But I feel like they they could be like homeless or not. That could be another reason why they're trying to cling, cling on to this other energy. They might have been like a house jumper or a couch, couch jumper and like went from your house to this other person's house and didn't really have a stable place of their own, okay, with this four of wands. Because the four of wands is contentment at home. But in 11-11 twin flame cards. But, you know, when I'm going off of this other person... There's an energy of them like wanting stability and wanting contentment, but it's like they can't jump from you and that other person to find that stability anymore. So they're they're trying now to, I don't know, like find the next victim, if that's even the way to describe it. Let's see. They feel pressured by you. One shot to get it right. Let's see. They feel pressured by you. One shot to get it right. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. They feel pressure. Can I get two clarifiers for they feel pressured? They got one shot to get it right, Spirit. They feel pressured. Four popped out. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse the not, and then the Knight of Cups. Okay, so whatever they thought that, that was going to make them happy didn't and it's almost like you called it you called it before it happened you called them on their bullshit like you you could have told them okay karma's gonna catch up to your your ass okay watch you hurt me and nothing's good gonna come of you because i'm a good person right and they thought that they were gonna get their wish fulfillment elsewhere and be happy but they're not they're fucking miserable okay you like i said earlier you can't hurt a good person and motherfucking get away with that shit because here with this knight of cups their heart truly lies with you whatever they thought was going to make them happy didn't and so this is them moving away from that and this is them making some kind of offer towards you and really truly offering their cup you know this is take following their heart truly going where they're truly happy being vulnerable making some offers you know but I feel like when it comes to you, you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, somebody very stable, uh, very committed. My bad, my kids were knocking at the door. Okay, so... Um, you're coming up as the queen of pentacles in this situation. Somebody that's stable, abundant, can take care of their family, but it's coming out with this judgment card right here. So it's almost like, you know, they're going to try to reconcile with this queen of pentacles. They're going to want to try to make it work with this queen of pentacles, but this queen of pentacles is going to be in this energy where it's like, you know what, everything that that's coming to you, you kind of deserve, right? It's almost like judgment, karma, you know, um, what you put out, you're getting back something to celebrate or reconciliation, but it's after having to go through it, right? 
And so this person, they're going to be down on their ass. They're going to be working really hard. They're going to be trying to get ahead. They're going to be trying to latch on to energies to find the stability that they had in you. And they're not going to be able to find that with anybody else. They're not going to be able to find this stability that they had with you with anybody else. And they know this. And so it's like spirit, every time they get a few steps back, something about your inner, like forward, something about your energy is going to pull them four steps back, right? And so here we have the judgment and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to want to come towards you because you are that stable place. They're going to want to fix this with you. Look at how whatever it was did not make them happy. Look at how this comes out, right? So, you know, whatever this was did not make them happy. Whatever this choice or this other person that they thought they loved over you did not make fulfill this person at all whatsoever. And so here they are going away, taking their heart, and they're going towards this st stable person. But this stable queen of pentacles is just kind of looking at this knight. They're coming towards the queen as a knight, you know? Um, and all they have is that cup to offer, you know what I'm saying? And it's almost like the queen of pentacles looking at this person like... Um, everything you're going through, you kind of deserve, but... With it clarifying this, they feel pressured by you one shot to get it right. It's like you're looking at them like. I'm hearing you've been like, OK, you've suffered enough now. Now come over here and, and appreciate what the fuck you had for once. It's like having to do this pause and this timing factor, these blockages that were put in place for the higher good is so that they can realize what the fuck they were leaving behind or what they were trying to choose over you. Like, what the fuck? Spirit came in and was like, nah, hell no. This person's still playing games. So what are we going to do? We're going to put these blockages in place because they're going to learn their lesson once and for all this time. Because the person, that other person that they thought they loved in it, she back the fuck off. You back the fuck off. They try to latch on to other people. She, there's something about your energy that pulls them in. Spirit blocked they ass from you. Cast judgment on them. And it's like they still tried to blame you. Wasn't willing to take accountability with this cries wolf when they are the perpetrator. Let me see. This cries wolf when they are the perpetrator. Very defensive. Scared that it's truly over. Wow, seven of swords at the bottom. You know, somebody being very sneaky. Somebody that is very, very scared. They're, this, the pressure that comes when it comes to you is that whenever they're being sneaky or whenever they're on that bullshit, something about your intuition or your spirit guides like let you know. It's like... You ain't left in the dark for too long on things when this person is on that shady ass bullshit, right? And so whatever happened here, it's like this person, they get very defensive and they try to blame you when they know that you're the, they're the ones that stabbed you in the back. They created this tower moment. And right now I'm telling you, they're going through a major motherfucking tower. You know, every major endings in their life, major tower moments, the 10 of swords next to the tower. That's major. This person is going the fuck through it. Why? Because they can't take accountability. They try to blame the good people that were there for them, that broke their back for them. They stabbed people in the back. They created storms in people's life when they were supposed to be their sunshine. They are trying to create relationships based on faulty foundations when, look, none of that shit was solid to begin with. So everything in their life is falling apart. And they're very defensive with you about it because it's almost like you said that. You told them that. All right, hurt me and see, watch, everything bad is going to happen to you. And now everything bad is happening. And the problem is where spirit isn't letting this person get by is because they're still not taking accountability. They're still trying to blame you. And that's all a part of this sneaky, shady bullshit. They're still being shady. Like I said, there's like a third, third party. What else is going on with this person? Yeah, it could be a queen of wands, a fire sign. Ace of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups. See, look, three three people in this energy. Three, three, three people. Like I said, it could be three women if you're dealing with a man, three three men if you're de dealing with a woman or however you, whatever you're dealing with. But like I said, there was three energies here. 
one that they're trying to use for money, one that they love, one that they're passionate about. They're really trying to manifest moving on from this connection and getting out of a dark place with you because they really, truly, truly want to build with you. They want to build with you. They want to marry you, three of cups, right? But it's like they're not taking the action and it's like the action that they need to take in order to be able to move out of this dark place with you and to try to build something solid you know, and actually stand up and commit and have something to celebrate with you. This person wants to have something to celebrate with you, but they have to take action. They have to meet you. Look, there's the King of Pentacles. Remember I said they were coming in as the knight? Now they're coming in as the queen. I mean, not, not as the queen. What the fuck? As the king, okay? So as your counterpart, they know they have to take action. They have to make changes. They have to meet you halfway. They have to equally give you the stability that you need too right but right now everything is falling apart in their life so there could be no communication right now this person might not be talking a lot so there's a lot of confusion surrounding this connection with the ace of swords okay there's a lot of confusion that surrounds this connection because of the lack of communication and when there is communication it's like the communication is there's a lot of miscommunication when you guys are communicating, which also causes petty fights, petty arguments. But this person is experiencing woo tower after tower. It's like, don't sit here in stress because, yeah, they're closing out a lot of cycles in their life. There's a lot of things coming to an end here. Look, devil card at the bottom, Capricorn energy. We have... You know, somebody who attaches themselves to relationships in a love reading with the devil. It's like this is somebody that attaches themselves to relationships in order for financial gain. They use sex and their charm and they usually have multiple people that are at their feet, you know, vying for their attention here. Very, very toxic person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, with the seven of swords. Woo. So spirit is like, woo, this person is really stuck in this devil energy right now. And it's like they're only going to bring you down with them. With their, The shady bullshit that they're still doing is going to bring you down with them. And so it's like right now spirit really wants you to like embrace your independence. That, that nine of pentacles is pre-empress. This is somebody that's single, abundant. They're happy alone. They're okay alone because spirit and the universe continues to bless them you know, emotional contentment, right? And I feel like that's where spirit wants you to be because we have the devil and the seven of swords and then you have this pre-empress that has her back turned from that situation, from that bullshit and focusing on their own emotional contentment here. Let them deal with that because eventually they'll balance it out and then you guys will be on the same wavelength. Then there will be... um. A balance of energies right you guys will be vibrating on the same wave but there's also you know a lot of sadness a lot of stress that surrounds this before it comes to this new beginning and somebody getting their justice I feel like this person definitely wants marriage but it's like it's gonna be a waiting period and that's why spirit is just like man focus on your own happiness your own peace because they're they're going through so much right now. Yeah, death, there's going to be some trans transformations, endings that lead to beautiful new beginnings, right? Them coming in and expressing themselves correctly. Well, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.